And we're live. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to... Maybe brought the kettle with me. That's still downstairs. I'm going to have to grab it. Um, welcome to... Do we like this? Do we not like this? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Um, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Thomas Talks Tea to... Again, the Bossa Nova Tea House, because this is a week of Bossa Nova somehow. It's what's been keeping me productive. Um, there is still the Dan Chapman in the house. Um, greetings, my friend. Reminds me I also need to... I've got a lot of things that I forgot downstairs. My phone, my second computer for the chat. Apparently my eyesight is good enough today, so I can read it on the on the computer back there. Um, 07 Dan. Um... We're still not drinking, but these are the remains of the... Let's see if the tea cam is working. It's working. Um, likewise, I hope you're having a productive day. I have good news, Dan, and everybody, really. Um, I received a phone call a few hours ago from the um, Chamber of Commerce and, and Industry, and apparently my business plan got approved already, or it will officially be approved on, on Monday, but um, that was fast. <laughs> Just a few a few things that uh, needed clarification and um, but yeah, other than that she said she said wait for it, if all the business plans were like this that would be ideal. <laughs> so, um I guess there's there's uh, reasons to celebrate and um, still a lot of next steps um, before before we can relax. Um, will we be able to really relax this year? I'm not sure because it's it's going to be a tough journey, to be honest. Um, even with the startup grant that I'm, I'm applying for, and that with the approved business plan, I'll most likely get. Um, yeah, so it's getting more and more official. First of May, Thomas Talks Tea is a, is a full-time thing now. Um, and, and with that, also the stuff here on Twitch will be much more at the center of attention than it, it uh, was these past few. Setting the standard, right? <laughs> than it was these past uh, two or three years uh, when, when um, there was not much content-wise on here. Dan, you know, nerds, forgive me, uh, Dan and I, we've got a thing going on behind the scenes. Um, it's called Space Gaming. Dan, I um, saw that on the, the Discord server. They're all already playing the next wave of the event. So if you have some time, some spare time, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, maybe this weekend, we can discuss it in private, of course. Um, we should... See to it that you get your first wave missions done, and then we proceed to the next ones. Sorry, end of Star Citizen slash gaming talk, because as we all know, this is no longer tea games and star stuff. This is proper Thomas Talks Tea. But as Dan... Oh, really, I need to grab my computer. I can't even give shoutouts. As Dan... Um, as Dan... Uh, pro um, shows uh, all the time again and again on, on his music stream, you can combine your art or your work with the occasional space gaming nerd talk. So if you're interested, join us on Discord and also follow Dan here on Twitch and on YouTube and everywhere really and join Dan's Discord. If you only follow one musician here on Twitch, then, mm, well, that's a problem. But if you only want to follow a number of musicians, uh, Dan is definitely among the top three, or it's my one of my three top choices. <laughs> and then there's no second and third place. Um, follow Dan. Follow Chris Ortega Music, my dear friend Chris, with um, Bossa Nova Cafe on Twitch, and of course the Tangerine Club, but uh, they hardly need shouting out. Music, 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 Discord, Discord, Discord. Apparently only moderators can do that. Then we have to add each other as moderators on our respective channels, I'm afraid. So that this can be a, be a thing. Um, also, 
go to Dan Chapman's Twitch stream to find out whether or not in the foreseeable future there will be a ever so um, exciting coming together of tea and music at some point. I have no idea. I suggested it, but um, Dan seems to be hesitant, so let's um, pressure him a little bit to, to make that happen. I think um, music and tea is always something that goes well together, specifically the reason why we are part of Team Vamo here on Twitch, both Dan and myself, and um, the others that I mentioned earlier. Team Vamo, if you don't know, is a team of mostly music streamers from all around the globe and somehow um, they ended up with um, tagging tagging this this uh, t-nerd uh, along for which i'll be forever grateful so check out everybody on team Bamo. i'm going to grab the kettle i'm going to give the shout outs properly i'm going to grab my computer my my, my phone so everything's properly set up and then we'll start drinking tea and Get productive. Let's get productive because there's still a few hours before the weekend needs to start. So um, relax, start to work, start studying, stay, grab a tea, grab a cup of coffee or whatever your preferred beverage is. I'll see you in just a moment. I'll just leave this uh, this this screen on, I think, because it's, it's nice to look at Korean black tea, even post infusion. I'll be right back.
have returned with the kettle with my computer so I can properly interact with you all. See ya. With the jar we used to discard the water and the tea leaves and in that Just something to eat real quick in between tea sessions because I have not eaten enough. Let's get started. I'm going to clean up here a little bit and then we can see what tea to drink. I've got ideas already, but I'm open to suggestions. Let's go! Josh, good to see you. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, we've now got competition, as you may have noticed. Dan is now a moderator. I didn't, didn't even discuss it with him. He's, he's, he's a mod now. And that's uh, it. Anyway. Glad, glad to see you. Good to see you here. How's your week been? What's your Friday like? Is it the weekend already for you? Um... Plans for the weekend? No weekend, yes weekend, tea weekend, gaming weekend. I think for me it's going to be a gaming weekend, to be honest. Um, we'll be here for tea, but um, I think over on Discord at least. Um, we, I'm trying to convince Dan to do um, Star Citizen 
streams uh, behind the scenes over over on the Discord server for everybody, or with everybody, really, who wants to join. And, um, or oh, Helldivers too, right? Anyway, gaming streams. Oh, we can, we can also stream games, of course, to Dan Chapman's Switch stream, because Dan is not only an amazing musician, he's also an artist with the games, so... But no games here. Not on Thomas Talks Tea. This is tea. This is not games and this is not star stuff. I'm gonna be strict about that. Um, I should uh, maybe create a reward, a channel reward, uh, like banning, ban the word gaming or something, or star citizen. No star citizen for 10 minutes. We are at 90 degrees Celsius. Let me see my... Oh, by the way, Josh, you know what I have? I have a crappy webcam, but at least it's not via Wi-Fi, so it's safe and reliable. And we're almost never on this uh, camera anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, look what I've got! I've got a new toy! I am in control of things now. <laughs> I feel much more uh, structured already and less chaotic here on, on, on Twitch. It's it's amazing, it's amazing. For those who don't know, I, no need to advertise this product, but um, it only has six buttons, but each of them you can turn into a folder and then the sub level also again folders you can i think create endless folders so it's not only six things that you can control but personally i created five folders with uh five then because one button is reserved to the um go back functionality but then five things times five folders so i'm controlling 25 things scenes like we can switch between scenes. I can go be right back. I am back. I can bring up the audio. I can stop. It's amazing. I can do screenshots. Let me do a screenshot. Screenshot saved. That is so cool. I love it. And it wasn't it wasn't all that expensive. Even. So that makes me happy this week. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to... Sorry, I, I, to be frank. I almost said don't be honest. Uh, to be honest, but I don't want to say that anymore. Uh, to be quite frank, um, I wouldn't want to spend, or I couldn't afford right now, or I couldn't justify the investment of spending um, 150 or more, even more bucks for the for the other models. But the the mini here, I got it for what was it, 59 euros. That's what I personally uh, think was worth the investment for me because I think you were here the other day, right? Now we've got no more Wi-Fi stuff here, no more... Actually, we're streaming right now on Wi-Fi. <laughs> I forgot to connect the cable again, but the Wi-Fi signal is not and never was the problem with my computer. It's as stable as it gets. And um, so the problem was really, I think, the camera connected via Wi-Fi wi again, the, the stream deck and everything. It's, it's all stable now. And um, so, yeah. Thanks for everybody for staying along for the ride. Mm. I know, right? In theory, I would have kept using my um, my old phone, but just turns out though, though I think the connection, all the stuff connected with wi to Wi-Fi, just. But yeah, it's so great to use an old tablet or an old phone and and use the app. But then, sorry, food in my mouth. Um. But then you need to pay the for the stream deck. You need to pay the monthly fee, which is not too high. But I thought like one-time payment, and then I have this thing. It has a cable. It's reliable. It's cool. It's fun. These buttons feel nice. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, they better pay me if I. I'm supposed to probably start advertising this product. T. Um. So that's it. And um, for those who are new here, this is our cozy virtual tea space uh, here on Twitch. If you're more an Instagram person, find me there. Uh, there's also a new YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Thomas uh, slash at Thomas Talks Tea. Please find that. Um, if you're already following the or subscribe to my old slash experimental tea gaming star stuff all over the place channel, there's a fresh channel only for tea now. Probably not really video content that's going to go up there, but more clips um, and best of stuff from 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 Twitch really. So it's not you're not gonna miss anything really. It's probably more to bring in people from YouTube at some point. 
Um, oh, nice. And we're already having a discussion. That's great. Uh, we should change this stream title to Study with T, because we're learning so much. Um, yeah, Josh, thanks for thanks for finding it. Uh, Dan, there's um, the one for the, the Stream Deck app, and then there's also other ones that are free um, and you can upgrade to a premium. I could also point you towards them, but Josh is probably already at it. The webcam is not too bad, is it? I think it's fine. It will do. It's reliable. That's what counts these days. Tea camera. So, Korean green tea from yesterday. Black tea from Korea. I'm gonna put this maybe here to the front because it looks nice. But now, let's have something else. Um, what are we in the mood for? We had Anji Baicha this week already. That was the day that I finished the business plan under the influence of theanine and caffeine. I feel like since it's, although I got up fairly late again today, since it's almost 6 p.m. here, I don't think I should have Anji Baicha now. That's a bit too much. Um, I have these Yunnan Jade Rings. A yellow tea. Oh, mail. Can you give me? Sorry. Just got mail. I just got mail. I'm for sure. Oh, nice. Um, that's the health insurance and the tax office all confirming that I'm doing a good job at communicating the business stuff. So, yellow tea from China. And, um... Ah, yeah, touch portal. I tried that one as well. I think it's a good alternative if you want to go free first and I think if there's a one-time payment you just upgrade and then but it's very affordable but again I just for me personally I just and I don't regret getting the physical one but if you have an old tablet or an old phone lying around going with an app is certainly the way to go Okay, here's my suggestion for today's tea. Let's get a bit fancy, shall we? This is a camera. The autofocus is not too bad either. I'm kind of thinking we can stick with this old DSLR after all. So this is Yunnan Jade Ring, Yu Huan a yellow tea from China and as you can see the buds they don't look like buds they look more like rings little rings which is why uh, exactly what happens so the buds get rolled into this shape by hand by hand so you can guess this tea is not not cheap um, I like it. It's if you if you like your teas with a slightly smoky note, not as smoky as in cigar or as in tea, in tea, tea terms like lapsang suchong. If you know that one, like it's probably a smoked tea. But um, Yunnan teas in general ha always have a slightly smoky undertones, and then um, specifically white teas and, and yellow teas. And this this one definitely has that, and and I love it. To be honest, there it was. Oh shit! Just stop. What can I say instead of "to be honest"? Suggestions, please. This is your unique chance to influence how I will speak in the future. Mm. Okay, so we'll go with. I don't want to go with 90 degrees. I want to stay with 80 for now. Mm. Before I do that, I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to just quickly bring up the information about this tea. So, 
you know what it is. Mm, I think it's on my where to buy good tea list. And I'm going to also link you again. It's a work in progress. I hope you can still hear me well. There you go. Where to buy good tea. And on that, I think I have... No, it's not on there. It's not on there. Let me... Okay, then we'll have tea first and afterwards. I'll, I'll write the novel about this tea and then put it as a, pin it as a... as a quote for today's stream. Google suggests, in all honesty, to be frank, speaking frankly, speaking truthfully, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Well, I'm not telling the truth, right? I'm only... I'm being truthful. If I'm honest, truth be told. As a matter of fact... <laughs> oh, but they're all such empty phrases, aren't they? Actually, this, it, it's one of those... Um, it's one of those phrases that you really... In fact, yeah. I mean, all of them, great suggestions. Thanks, by the way, Josh. All of those are just phrases you really want to just stop using. It's... They're, they're, they're empty, so if I say in all honesty, like I expect people I surround myself with and communicate with to be honest with me. Um, in reasonable, within reasonable terms. So it's really, it's one of those phrases I just need to get rid of it. I know, I don't know when it even started and why. To be honest, to be honest. Maybe it's something that I started using to use less less other filler words or filler sounds that I make a lot because my brain is faster than my mouth. Or the other way around. <laughs> Anyways, T. So, you know the drill. Let me go to full screen for that. I'm gonna do a quick rinse to awaken the leaves from their sleep. Oh yeah, so the smoke yeah, the smokiness is there, and it's rather intense. Again, I say that as someone who does not smoke, and so it's when I say it's intense, it means it is probably subtle if you if you but really smoked ham a little bit. So if you like that, which I actually do, I just don't eat it because I'm mostly vegetarian. Then this this is one of the chances that I get to. To experience those flavors. Um, okay, and you can see that a nice pad now. Let's see if I can grab one of them. Show you more up close. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Good job there, autofocus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Look at that. Those are buds turned into a ring shape. And pressing the screenshot button. <laughs> okay. And I'll just put that back there. And then we can infuse. And you can see the bubbles, the foam. Again, I've been saying that a lot lately. That's what we use the lid for in the guy one. So we, I move the, the bubbles and try to catch them with the with the lid really and remove them. So we have a nice clean tea soup there. The bubbles, the foam, can you see? Maybe yes, maybe no. Anyways. Yeah, the, the, I use filler words a lot, and I also use filler sounds or um, a feedback, feedback, feedback sounds, feedback words, uh, as we call them, I think, in linguistics. I use those a lot. Which is also something I'm trying to work on. So instead of saying um, um, um all the time, 
Thomas, just shut up for a moment. Allow for the silence to speak for itself. And concentrate on the tea. Clean the teacups. I totally forgot to clean the teacups. And I think we're going to go just for a very short infusion here. Too long. Really nice color. The liquor, the liquor, the buds are beginning to open up. You'll be able to see, there you go, the rings. Oh, there. It's possible to see that those are actually buds. So this is a buds only tea. No leaves, only the buds of the tea plant. And again, screenshot time. Uh, by the way, feel free to clip whenever you like. I need all the clips um, until... Um, there it was. Until I finally get around to taking notes about which parts of the stream to clip later for YouTube or to download. So since I forgot to do the dishes, let's just grab new ones. <clears throat> There's a new cup. And... This is really cool. Look at this. Um, um, there it is again. <laughs> Make it stop. I'm going to use this sniffing cup here. That's what we call it. So it's a zipping cup and a sniffing cup. And I'm, as you can see, pouring the tea. Too much of it. Into the sniffing cup it goes. And then a bit of a gamble each time. Go like this. And let me do this here in a close up. Ever so gently. In circles. Ta da! It worked. We didn't make a mess. And then, as the name suggests, I can use this one here to sniff and to really focus much more and identify the. The, enjoy the fragrance and identify the, the aroma notes of the tea. Because as we discussed already in the past multiple times, most of what you experience when drinking good tea is not necessarily taste, but most of it is aroma. And aroma is nothing to do with the tongue, but rather with the nose. So all that tea can really do taste-wise is taste sweet, sour, bitter, umami, salty. Is there a hair in my tea? Okay, let's do this again. A really beautiful color I describe it as yellow with a little bit of it's almost like a rosé wine with, with, yeah, some, somewhere between rosé and, and, and yellow. Really cool. Very unique color. I'll leave that cup there for you all to enjoy and just have this. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I think right tea for the right time which also is what I say when people ask me what's your favorite tea Thomas that depends on the time of the day on the day of the week on the month of the year really depends on what phase in terms of tea I'm currently in what projects I'm busy with in life Nice. Mm, it's not my favorite tea currently, I think. Because I'm too much into uh, oolongs right now. Specifically Taiwanese oolongs. I think I'm beginning to 
I'm beginning to enjoy to enjoy darker oolongs right now more so than in the past. I always enjoy Taiwanese darker oolongs, but I'm also beginning to enjoy some Taiwanese, uh, sorry, Chinese um, darker oolongs from the Wuyi Mountains that in the past I struggled with because of the mineral notes that never really got me. But uh, another fascinating area of, of oolong in, in China that I need to explore much more than I done so and then I did so in the past is uh, Dan Song. And I'm saying Dan Song, first tone. Um, Dan Song oolongs, very much, much more on the fruitier side compared to, to the Wuyi rock teas. So they're a little bit, arguably a little bit closer to the kind of dark oolongs that I like. I digress. So this is not really the tea that I'd go for in my current tea phase, <laughs> but it's a nice tea nonetheless. It's an excellent tea, but... I think next one we can do go higher with the temperature. So 90 degrees I want to do. And go for a for only 10 or 15 seconds. I want to oh, yeah, I want to experiment with the further infusions. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I mean And it's a tea that's very consistent in terms of what it promises when you look at it, when you dig in with your nose, and then when you taste it. So there's this great consistency there. Some teas, they're very fragrant at first, and then when you drink them, their character changes a lot. Or it's, it's not what you expected. This, this tea is very, very consistent. It's nice. Um, I'll bring up the music for a little bit and then I can add the information. <laughs> I wish something like Twitch taste was possible. Great point, Josh. Great point, Josh. Um, it's something um, it's something I've been thinking about a lot. Not specifically for Twitch, but for streaming tea workshops, as in doing Zoom tea workshops, which are also which I also offer, and, and even more so in, in, in the future, as I'm restarting or scaling up my, my tea business. So what some companies do, my, my former um, company, Paper and Tea, they, for example, they do, they send the tea to people ahead of the, the workshop when they whenever they do online seminars. I think there's, there's a bunch of companies who do that. So that's probably something I need to do as well. The challenge there is, it's not really a challenge, but it requires a bit of um, additional um, management of my, my supply chain, because right now I have a tea seminar, workshops, events, and business consulting business, or oh, I will have that business again. And although I have ideas about also selling tea, it I wouldn't want to call it a plan yet. So ideally, I'd have the teas that I offer in my tea seminars in larger badges, batches, batches, in larger batches that I can then also share with people and send to people. The the problem is that or the context for context usually most of the tea seminars that I currently conduct are hosted by local tea stores like I have one here my my good friends here in a tea store around the corner in, in Cologne they um, they host my my tea seminars once a month twice a month and um, I go there conduct the seminar use their teas so it's it's a win-win so I don't have to worry about bringing tea and um, at the same time it's great for them to introduce their teas to their customers yeah so if I were to start sending out tea to the twitch community and um, also to uh, for workshops I'd have to 
a little Thomas T care package. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So I can absolutely see that in the future, and I'm not interested in carrying like a huge number of teas, but a limited assortment of a, a carefully curated one could say assortment of say five to six to up to ten ten or so ish teas would probably make sense at some point maybe even already next year maybe already later this year we'll see we'll see where it goes and right now the challenge is now that we're already talking about my business right now the challenge is to foresee which of the which area of my business will be the one or which of the areas will be the ones that I end up focusing on the most currently according to my business plan um, I focus equally to equal parts on uh, the educational so tea seminars in, in tea stores then um, b2b customers so tea events tea workshops for for business clients for example for team events so i have a format that's called lunch and learn tea lunch and learn so I'll, um, either show up via via a video call or um, in person with my tea equipment and my teas for uh, for example during lunch break and i talk to you and i present you and your team and your colleagues um a little bit of how you can integrate specialty tea culture or the enjoyment of specialty tea into your daily routine and how it may help you at least judging from my experience how it can help you get through the day in a much more um i want to say structured um well balanced and and um overall more productive way maybe if that's all just due to the tea i don't know but i think um having a ritual anyway if you like a, taking a break is one thing but having a ritual um that that helps you focus at least helped me in the past when um trying to be more structured and, and more focused at work so i would like to spread that and help people integrate that in their in their work routine when a lot of people still think like, ah, okay, that's nice with all the teapots and teacups and all the stuff that you do, but how should I do that at work? I can't do that at work, right? Not everybody will be able to, but a lot of people uh, think it's not possible or maybe they shy away from getting weird looks for bringing their tea, their guy wine or something. So I want to promote tea in the work environment. And then the third pillar of sorts is um, business consulting. So for with a focus on the tea industry, that is tea, farmers, tea brands uh, from the origin countries who want to um, improve their sales and their marketing within the German language um, and even the European market. And then on the other hand, tea stores and tea businesses in, I want to say across Europe, also with a focus on the German language market um, that need help with their marketing of their local tea store, their brand, who want to do tea, who want to host tea seminars and who don't want me to do it for them, but who want to learn how to, to or just need help, advice, or coaching with that. So that's the general plan. And I will strategically decide then as we as we proceed with the business, or as I proceed with the business, um, which part to focus on more, which less will depend on my personal preference, what I enjoy the most, and also obviously what pays the rent at the end of the day. And um, yeah. So we'll see. But uh, a Thomas T care package, I can see that making sense at some point. And it's not not difficult really to 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 make. I mean, I worked with with tea projects in the past where we did stuff that was much more complex. So um, it's basically just getting the the packaging. Um, I don't even have to. I I don't need a personal branding for the teas, you know, they, they can, they don't need to be white label or anything. I, I, I have my tea sources, I have friends um, I, whose, whose teas I know, so I could just curate an assortment of teas, put it in nice packaging and, and then send it out for tea seminars or even for if we end up doing regular stuff here on Twitch <laughs> um, for subscribers, we could uh, do like, a, I don't want to say a monthly package, but maybe a quarterly care package, you know, because I don't know why, but people keep asking me where do I buy, where should I buy tea, 
at some point the answer should not be, oh, go there, go there, unless I have an affiliate contract with them. But just, oh, I've got a solution for you. Subscribe and you'll get your quarterly tea, tea packet, right? Yeah, so this is more tea ideation or business ideation today. But um, since I put the news about my business plan in the notification for the followers anyway already, it was bound to turn into business talk. I'll now stop this monologue. We'll drink more tea. I'll put up the information about this tea. That's going to take me a moment. And um, let me write that down. I'm going to... Josh, let's write that down because another thing that has helped me be much more organized since October is I am an avid bullet journaler now. It is the solution to all my problems. <laughs> so instead of trying to use a pre-made calendar or anything really, I just use a blank journal and what was I supposed to do yesterday? So I did check, check, check. Uh, I did all this. Why didn't I? This is all done. Okay, so yesterday apparently I didn't do anything. Never mind. So today, no plans. Don't need to write anything down. But I have a future log. And in that future log, I can write down. Actually, let me open a special section for that. I have a section for cooperation ideas with other brands. Let me add um, Thomas Talks Tea Ideas tea package because now we're talking about it I think I should actually talk to some friends and tell them to send me some teas and try and make a deal with them tea package care package quarterly for subscribers but the thing is who to do that right I mean we'd have to be a much larger number of avid tea drinkers here to for this to make sense but let me know give me feedback on on Disc discord if you think something like that makes sense i wrote it down i'll think about it and now end of business talk end of monologue i'll find the information about the tea and bring up the music again i hope it's not too loud but it should be all well balanced and I'll talk to you in the future. <laughs>
sorry, that took me a moment. But it's it's done. Manually unpinned or end of stream. There you go. Um I, I needed a moment to figure out the uh, the tones for the Chinese name. <laughs> Just also for educational purposes. And oh no, camera, stay stay there. Stay, stay, stay. Thank you. So Today's tea, I pinned the message as as today's uh, message of the day. So today's tea, let me read this one out to you real quick and butcher the, the Chinese tones probably. Today's tea, Yu Huan. So that's Jade Ring in English. A uh, handcrafted specialty tea originating from Zhejiang in China. This tea undergoes a unique transformation where the fresh leaf buds are first processed into yellow tea. They are then made pliable again through steam treatment. The defining feature of this tea comes from its final crafting step where the leaves are delicated, twisted over small sticks to form a ring shape, followed by a light roasting. There you have it, today's tea. Yu Huan. Yu. Yu Huan. Yu Huan. Practicing my tones. Send help. <laughs> Let's make more tea.
um, everyone, we can always go back to um, talking tea and I'll live on the, the Bossa Nova playlist, but I'm going to change the stream title to Study with T because I'm actually... Um, I've got a few things that I want to still get done before calling it a weekend. So for like a... even if only half an hour or so. Uh, so I'll, I'll be a bit quiet, just make more tea for you all and um, let's enjoy the music. Let's still be productive for half an hour. Before the weekend, or really call it today. Sit back, relax. Thanks for being here again. It means a lot to me, really. special treatment for returning viewers Mel curious welcome back to what probably was uh, Thomas uh, tea games and star stuff when you were here last time welcome to Thomas talks tea again where um, we now focus I now focus uh, entirely on on the tea game the uh, uh, the rest of the the stuff 
still happens on on the, the T Games and Stars of YouTube and a bit on the Discord or a lot on the Discord. But this channel is now entirely dedicated to my passion for tea and my tea business, which I am um, relaunching or taking from being a side business back to being a my, my full time business uh, in May this year. And Ah, very nice. Thank you. Tax office confirming what I just said. It's very nice. That helps. And um, yeah, so that's it. And that's why we're here with this um, not so fancy setup. Because as you can see, I'm using a, a webcam for the, the main camera. Because we had huge technical difficulties earlier this week with, with um, the mobile phone camera connected. To a wi -Fi. It's not that bad. I, I, I think I can stop um, apologizing for the, the webcam, right? I mean, the light, you can tell from the light, but anyways, I digress. Main camera, small T camera, big T camera, can show you the T. Today's T is a Jade Ring U, hun. <laughs> um, a yellow T from Zhejiang in China rolled to a, a ring shape really and these have already opened up as you can can you can see the buds again but yeah so that's what's what this is about now oh if I had to choose jasmine ginseng or white jade tea um I'd probably refuse to choose without further information about each of those. So, um, Jasmine, I would want to know, is it a white Jasmine tea? Is it a green tea? Because I don't, do, 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 I don't think I'm too fond of, um, Jasmine tea made with green tea. If it's a white Jasmine tea, I'm, um, as a loyal follower of Master Master Uncle Iroh, of course I choose Jasmine tea. Um, yeah, but it, it, I mean, it really depends on just, just from throwing around some na tea names, I'll, I'll never, I'll never, <laughs> I'll never be able to choose. I want to look at the tea and then judge the, the experience that may await me if I, if I choose that specific one. Um, but yeah, not sure if that's the answer you were looking through. <laughs> Look, <laughs> saw right through me. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, as I keep saying, there's a there's a perfect tea for not only everybody but also for every moment and for everybody. So, um, which tea? would I choose in what moment, right? If you asked me earlier today, I'd probably have chosen a different tea than I choose right now. If you asked me yesterday, I um, chose Korean black tea. Today, I, for some reason, chose this um, yellow tea that I already said is actually not really what I drink in, in my current tea phase all that much because I drink a lot of oolong. And then the occasional Anji Baicha that we had yesterday, um, the day before yesterday. Uh, so, or so um, at some point, Iro says for all th <laughs> for all three, it's his favorite. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess Jasmine tea is the is the recurring, the most recurring one, isn't it? Um, speaking of speaking of Uncle Iro, have you watched the um, series yet on Netflix? Because I have, and it's Netflix, right? Or was it Disney? Anyway, have you watched the new series yet? Mini series, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? Is it? No, it's season one of the new. You did didn't watch the live action. You're afraid. Um. After reading some initial reviews, I was very scared, or a bit scared and very hesitant. But I'm so glad we watched it. 
I think from the two people living here, I'm the one who enjoyed it more. I thought it was, I'm the one who thinks it's it's good. Um, yeah, I thought it would be bad or mediocre, but I think it's it's actually good. I loved it. I loved it. Some minor complaints, really, but um, the changes they made, I think, it it's fine. So I can I can actually recommend it. Almost felt with the, the the one thing that bothered me the most probably, and not even because I thought it was stupid. I, it just confused me. They and sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil you. Um, The, 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 what confused me was that they mixed and meshed, um, mixed and and meshed together the stories of several episodes into of the original animated series into one episode, and then suddenly you have characters that appear over the course of in, in different episodes and in separate story slash story arcs. Even they appear in the same episode, which was a bit confusing. And so they change a few things, um, but I found that more confusing than really irritating to be honest so if I just judge it by itself on its own and um, I thought it was really good I'd, I'd and I, I would watch it again I would watch it again even. I, I would definitely rewatch it um, it's very contextual yeah if you want to relax you might want a ginseng if you need to pick me up a strong black uh, green might be more preferred um, yeah I agree I think for, it depends on what we mean by relaxing, right? So if we're talking relaxation in the evening and or if you want to at some point go to sleep and not um, take any caffeine, then I guess yes. Although that for me then also depends on my, my daily mood. Sometimes I drink a lot of uh, Jiao Gu Lan, uh, the, the Chinese herb currently just, it tastes ugly, but I feel like it's nice and for things. And um, we drink herbal tisanes a lot in the evening. The husband likes to have his chamomile every evening. I like chamomile as well, but I, um, what else do I drink in the evenings? Um, peppermint is always nice. You know, just, just herbal tisanes and even from tea bags um, but if we're talking relaxation in terms of I want to feel less stressed and feel relaxed overall over the course of the day I'd still stick with tea so with with uh, actual tea and um, the one tea that I use to start my day in a relaxed state of mind is then I probably always Grab this one here, which is Anji Baicha. Of course, my go-to tea that I'd never be able to go without. Yeah, they stripped some character arc personality traits. Yeah, they did, but like we're talking, um, we're talking taking out the uh, misogynist um, stuff uh, that's part of um, Sokka's uh, initial character, right? Um, I still think he works as a character. I uh, it's it's not that he's is still the same character in my book. Um, the the actor does a great job at portraying him, really, to be honest. And uh, the this the the unique sense of humor that Saka um has. Saka, I'm confusing the names. Soka, not Saka. <laughs> Soka. The um Yeah, Soka works as a character. I, I I can recommend it. I suggest you give it a try and then afterwards come back and, and <laughs> we can keep fighting about it. I mean, I'm probably in the minority with with um my opinion that it's it's good, but SOT, I strongly remember making my dad Devil's Claw tea for his joint eggs. Yeah, um, I mean, when I talk about tea here on the channel, or in general also in my tea seminars, here's the Anji Baicha, my 
green gold the one tea that i could never do without um not i mean it tastes great but and fresh tea green tea harvest or really high quality green tea is really something i'll always love whether it's chinese or, or japanese but i like my teas a bit more complex and um so hence my obsession with oolong teas of all all shades so from greener oolongs to darker oolongs because they're just so complex and so fruity buttery flowery depending on which which one you pick but anji Baicha is probably the one that i choose more for the way it makes me feel and how i'm able to deal with reality when i drink this tea and it also tastes great so that's anji Baicha for me so if if you were to say relaxation, I'd pick this one. But that's not a tea I can drink in the evening because then you can't sleep. So I still drink it in the evening, but then I go to bed at 5 a.m. Yeah, so these leaves for the, the Andrew Baicha, the leaves are twisted into this shape during the rolling phase. So when the, the, the leaves are um, rolled, they turn and put in the shape on purpose and then this gut just stays this way when it, when it gets dried. Um, can I show you one? Because if you were just to dry them, yeah, they wouldn't have this, you know, this this needle, this needle shape. It's not, it's not at all close to what the Japanese do with their green teas, right? Here you can see it's twisted a little bit, like ever so gently, just to to encourage them to assume a little bit of a needle shape. Whereas if you were just to dry them, you'd have more of the shape of the the, the actual unfolded leaf as you'd have in, say, a. Do I have a bimo done here? You know, like as, in, as with white teas, where you just pluck, wither, and dry, and then um, you, you can see much more of the unfolded leaf. Mm. Also, Anji Baich is one of the teas I love to snack on. Nibble on. It's so delicious. I can just eat the leaves. And I still have so much. Of, this was from 2022 still. I bought one kilogram, which is a lot because this is not very heavy, not very dense. So I still have probably 300 grams left. Mm, let me put this back. And apparently I ended up drinking less than I thought I would. But with my rebooted tea seminars, that consumption should go up as well. I wonder if they're rolled for aroma preservation or to protect them from baking. Um, to be honest, it's like for the Anji Bai Cha, I want to say it's mostly for um, the most important point, right? We know from here. Yeah. Show you. Uh, time, Thomas. Uh, this is the Bao Zhong, which is also twisted, obviously, not rolled. Ah, you've cut some. Dongbing here. So, right, that's why we have oolong that is rolled into these ball shapes. Because mostly what it does, most importantly what it does, other than that, the fact that it looks nice, what it does is it protects the leaves from breaking. Because if you were to not to roll the leaves into this ball shape, you would have a tea that is leaves that are this this big, like this this big. I actually have them here. I have Dongding tea leaves on the back side of my business cards. <laughs> so <laughs> I've come prepared today. So these 
that would be a Dung Ding tea leaf. Once the once you infuse the tea and then it unfolds. So imagine a tea leaf of this size and putting that in, in bags and shipping it and you, it will all break. So that's one of the main advantages of putting tea into a shape like this. Now for the needle shape, it is a little bit less so, I think. But then of course we have Japanese tea where it's absolutely a question of aesthetics, right? They Almost all Japanese teas, I want to say all, no, almost all Japanese teas have that distinct needle shape and I'm, needle shape as in really the leaves are folded almost into a shape that, that's a perfect, perfect needle. Um, unlike anything we have in Chinese tea processing, I want to say. Yeah, gunpowder tea is um, arguably nothing you need to, to roll to protect because it's it's a rather... It's... I mean, unless you find a really fancy, fancy grade, which kind of contradicts the gunpowder um, uh, tea type. Um, it's... It's it's a rather I'm, I'm I'm not even sure if I want to call it specialty tea, but yeah, but it's 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 a similar logic, right? And um, if you don't know rolled oolongs, you may confuse oolong tea with gunpowder tea sometimes because they kind of look similar and then they don't. But yeah, the logic is the same though, and the effect anyway. That's the the cool thing, right? If you infuse them and then the leaves open up and with the with the guy one here, if we were to use this amount of tea leaves here, which is again I'm always I'm known for overdosing quite a bit, but this would be this would be the, the amount of tea leaves that I'd use for, for this vessel here. If we we were to infuse and reinfuse and reinfuse we'd end up with the, the whole um, tea bowl or guy one filled with leaves afterwards. Half a serving of spinach. <laughs> um, okay, let me just write down uh, before I forget. I was talking about my bullet journaling successes and success stories. So this I need to write down for... Uh, I'm going to do that on Sunday. Today is Friday 22nd, Sunday 24th, March 2024. Is wait, do I have a tea seminar on Sunday? Uh, one, two, three. No, there's no tea seminar on Sunday. Unternagen. I wrote it down. I am in control again. Put this thing aside. And go to the paper waste. This goes here. I also heard of people adding fresh herbs, fruit peels, or even saffron to their tea when steeping. What's your take on this? Um. Yes, it's something that people do. <laughs> people do a lot of things, and um, that's the beautiful thing about tea and tisanes, I want to say, that you can mix and match and experiment. It's not my cup of tea most of the time, because the kind of tea I drink, and, and that's not me wanting to sound snobbish or something, but the, the kinds of teas that I drink and also talk about here, um, 
I don't think that would be appropriate to um, put fresh herbs or fruit peels in or even saffron um, because they are they have a very complex character uh, so much aroma in them just from processing so um, whether it's the the yellow here the Korean black tea or, or this 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 dongling oolong or my anji bai cha no but um, first of that doesn't mean that I discourage people from trying that because I think it's it's great to experiment with with tea and if that's something that you're curious about go ahead but I love playing around with fresh herbs or dried herbs um, fruit and um, then probably more with something like a, a more robust black tea for example mm. or a white tea that's less complex than what we have here right now and arguably then uh, something that's a bit more affordable um, at least to play around with and experiment with first and then if I really find something as in this these apple pieces go well with white tea then I can you know create a blend of apple dried apple pieces with say silver needle white tea it's not something I could see myself really doing but there's a market there's a huge market for that out there it's it's what basically the tea industry the global tea industry makes most of their money with is not this kind of tea this kind of tea is insignificant on a global scale for the tea industry exception being China, Taiwan, Japan, the countries, the regions and countries where these teas are grown and produced, where there's much more of an awareness for um, what specialty tea is, how to drink it, how to enjoy it, how to um, integrate it also in your daily, daily life. But on a global scale, the, the, the majority of money in the tea industry is made with blends between, I want to say, medium grade lower grade medium grade teas and by that i don't mean like bad teas but just it's not the, the first harvest and it's not buds and then uh, two leaves one bud it's just much lower grade that gets harvested um when when um well later in the year after the, the, the higher grades have been produced and then that gets blended with with fruit with with herbs and stuff like that and um, either put into tea bags or sold as loose leaf tea as well in the tea stores that we have around the corner and there's a lot of demand there um be it pure tisanes pure uh, pure herbs or, 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 or blends the ones that i like are really only i think jasmine we talked about jasmine tea earlier so jasmine white tea i like a lot um, so it's the same as using high quality HGs for your mac and cheese. Exactly, you can do it, but you, you, it would do it just maybe. You know, it's it's a question of is it is it sustainable? To you can try, but then if you end up liking it, do you really want to? If I mean yes, <laughs> but I'd I'd say you'd do it a disservice because. Um, Prove me wrong, but there's no way that something as intense as, for example, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stay with the apple idea, right? Apple pieces. If you throw even a few of them in in in, in your white tea, um, it's going to change uh, change the balance of, of the aromatic compounds that you end up with. And there may be a tea that tells you, oh, maybe this will go nice with. Milk, for example, right? A lot of black tea, Assam black tea, is um, a lot of people pour milk into their, their black tea, which is great, or sugar or lemon. So why not um, also blend your tea leaves with um, with fruit or herbs? Absolutely. But as you as you asked for my personal take, I am super passionate about herbal tisanes, fruit tisanes, and all that stuff. But that's for me something I drink on its own so I love I even drink um, 
thyme, licorice root, uh, peppermint, uh, uh, you know, I, and I don't even blend those usually, so I drink them on their own for, as, as just single herbs or tisanes. Sometimes herbal tisanes is like really cool, cool blends that I also like, but very selectively. So what I love about these teas that we're talking about here is that each of them is super complex and there's so much to discover and you can use them even as a, as a tool to train your uh, senses and really get better at identifying um, aromatic notes, compounds. But again, I don't want to sound, I probably came across now overly opinionated more so than I, uh, I usually want to come across. The one thing that fascinates me about the world of tea, and you could extend that to the world of, of herbs and fruit and, and um, plants that we can pour hot water over and, and call tea or tisane or infusion, is that there's so much to discover, there's so much you can experiment with, and really there's no need to ask me for my personal take because um, chances are we're probably very different and we're all, each and everybody's very different. So instead of asking anyone else what they think about it, just I encourage everybody to just try what they think they they want to try. And, and that in my experience is where really, um, where the challenge lies to encourage people to try and experiment and to get rid of that idea of right and wrong. So basically my monologue uh, the past five minutes is kind of, I'm kind of doing a disservice to my actual mission, which is to get those, that idea out of people's minds that there's right and wrong, right or wrong when, when dealing with tea. There's no right and wrong, just do whatever you want. <laughs> and if you end up enjoying the result, that's great. Keep doing what you're doing. If you end up not liking it, Maybe you want to change the um, brewing temperature or the uh, steeping time or the amount of tea leaves or the, the, you know, and stuff like that. Or maybe you want to um, start creating your own blends or drink it with milk or with lemon juice. Yeah, train the palate, really, exactly. Yeah. Um, my friend Cleo from Brazil, who's also a, a, a tea educator in, in Brazil, and she has a background in culinary arts. By the way, you should check her out. Um, that's not on Twitch, though. Instagram.com slash Cleo Charista. That should be the correct one. Check Cleo. Check out Cleo and leave a follow and Pella Thomas said hi. Um, we did our first Instagram tea talk this week. It's probably going to be a monthly or um, even maybe in twice, twice a month. And we talked about Brazilian tea, but so that's Chinese Japanese tea culture or Chinese Japanese informed tea culture in Brazil. And we talked about Cleo's uh, tea journey and journey as a tea educator and a tea professional and uh, about her making tea. And one thing that sets her apart is she has a background in culinary arts. So when she talks about tea, you can tell she has that background. And what she recommended, that's what I wanted to uh, try and talk about, is um, if you really want to get to know a tea better, try and drink it alongside uh, different dishes. So maybe, just making things up here, but maybe this, this uh, yellow tea here, Try and drink it and pair it with, say, um, a high quality aged cheese. And then afterwards, or maybe the next day, try it. Or you, you can even do a, a, a tasting session, right? Have, have a have cheese and have tomatoes, have um, grapes, have uh, cucumber, stuff like that. And, and pair the drinking of the tea with the eating of each of these respective um, food. And then you'll end up creating new um, new ideas about what, what it is that you can identify um, or your palate can, can really identify in the tea. Whereas if you just drink the tea on its own, there's, there's no background noise. Or the only background noise that's there is um, the, the taste of your own mouth, the 
your um, senses are accustomed to. But um, so adding, having having uh, different kinds of food interfere with with your palate is is a really nice way of, of training that. So that's something I want to try out more. Um, traditionally in tea, what we do is right. Um, people who work in the tea industry as tea buyers, they have to decide which of these 20, 30, 40, 50 samples spilling the tea here. Now wait. So what? Um, which of these 20, 30, 40 samples of, uh, say, Assam black tea should we buy 5,000 kilograms of this year? And then you just go slurp and spit, slurp and spit, slurp and spit, and you taste, and you do this comparative tasting. Uh, so it's really about differentiating between uh, the, the different qualities or different samples of the same tea, basically. but. Um, that's not really what we need to do, right? When I already have tea in front of me, I don't need to know whether this is better or worse or how it's different from another sample of the same tea, different sample of the same tea, but I want to really focus on this tea and get it, get, get to know it um, more. And so we're bringing in stuff that's nothing to do with tea in the first place. That's, that's something Cleo recommended, so maybe Something everybody wants to try as well. Yeah. Now we're almost. Um, the stream title is Study with Tea. It used to be Bossa Nova Tea House. Um, now we're almost to, to Tea Talk on a Friday. <laughs> Maybe it's something we need to introduce. So that's what I'm going to monitor closely these next few days and weeks. We'll have the regular stream on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. my time, unless there's a physical tea tasting in the tea store in Cologne that's from 6 to roughly 7, so then I'll only be able to start the stream at, at 8 o'clock. But Tuesday nights, Tea Tasting Tuesday as it's now called, some of you remember Tea Bag Tuesday, Tea Tasting Tuesday is already um, if you check the, the schedule, it's there already. So that's a weekly weekly stream that we do where we, if you like what just hap what just happened here, like me having monologues or us interacting and nerding out about about all stuff tea, that's what happens once a week here on Thomas Talks Tea with Tea Tasting Tuesday. Um, if we end up doing this more than we do these music slash relaxing just drinking tea and me not talking at all streams then we'll introduce a second one but for now i'd like to stick to tuesday, uh, tea tasting tuesday for these kinds of conversations planned conversations which does not mean we can't have these conversations um spontaneously um after always streaming here and just chatting out in, in music right but um yeah then i would like to find ideally i want to find a second day for a fixed stream. I, I'll probably show up a lot spontaneously this coming weeks while I still have a lot of time. Um, also because it helps me to be productive. Just sitting here making tea, uh, talking to you occasionally or just not talking and then drinking tea helps me to sit down here with my laptop and, and work, which is something I need to get used to more again. But uh, yeah, so I'd like to find at least one slot per week where we do a a fixed a second a second stream that's um, also chatting and catching up on things, but maybe a bit more relaxed vibes, listening to music, the occasional conversation, but um, less focused on actually tea nerd talk and more on the relaxing effects of I don't want to call it a tea ceremony, but that preparing tea and then taking it slow can have, um, and whether that's a Friday, probably not a Saturday, is it? A Friday or a Sunday afternoon, Friday evening. I'm, I have yet to, to figure that out, but that will depend also on when most people will be able to show up. So hence also my being here all the time right now, because I want to, in, in one or two weeks time, I want to be able to see which days and which time slots work best for, for most of you. And if you have requests on what time, what day works best for you or if you want more of those streams that we did quite a few times this week where I just 
sit here and mute the microphone, work on my stuff, and there's music. Uh, there's the music playlist, and um, whenever you check the stream, there's there's tea being made. If you want more of that, so you can just follow as a uh, as a relaxing channel, uh, please let me know. Or if you hate that, also please let me know. I have to plug in this phone because the battery is low. You know what? I'll just put this on ultra battery saver for now. And put it away. Because I was following my stream with the phone, but it's not necessary. Because I've got you all here. Okay, I'll bring back the, the music. I think I need a short tea break. I need to bring some more. Um, increasing music volume muting the microphone, but I'm here if anyone wants to talk. <laughs> Otherwise, we can also always type in chat, obviously. Sorry, just had to check that thing. Shall I begin? I'll make more tea because someone requested a cup here.
I think I fixed a few more commands that were still outdated over um, in the stream element spot. Um, these should be working now. Links and Discord. Green tea, yellow tea, black tea. Tea in general. Yes, it is working. Tea is the beverage made by infusing the processed tea leaves of Camellia sinensis, the Chinese tea plant. There you go. And yellow tea. You saw that earlier. And again, today's tea has been a handcrafted specialty from Zhejiang in China. Yu Huan, Jade Ring. No longer really looks like rings now that we've infused it quite a couple of times so you can now see the the buds actually in the tea plant here and here this is still because it was ring shaped earlier uh camera don't focus on my veins focus on the why does my hand look so blue on the camera come on focus Sing the focus. <laughs> there you go. Mm. I may have to look into making dinner. So, if it's all the same to you, I think this is where we end the stream for today. Or at least for right now. I don't want to say. <laughs> Can't guarantee that I won't be back later. <laughs> Spontaneously, if I get into the mood. Um, we're going to do a little micro raid if it's if that's fine by you. I would like to surprise, even if we're only a few people. Uh, I would like to surprise a dear friend of the channel, Jupiter Jackson. It's a gaming stream, but um, please let's bring some tea love to them. There's a raid command, there's a sub raid command. And. Everybody ready up? Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I'll see you later here or tomorrow over the course of the weekend for more tea and music. I have been major star stuff, I want to say. I've been Thomas Todd's tea. With uh, hopefully relaxing vibes for y'all. Let me know what you think over on Discord. Join us there. Um, or send me an email. Or whatever. Let's have tea together again soon. Bye for now. Let's raid. Thank you.